coming to Ghana for the um, um, Gadangwe Homecoming 2021. As you know, I'm the global president for the event. Sure. The event actually started from the 9th of this month um, and is going to end on the 22nd. But I haven't been able to come because of other commitments. So today I arrived to join my colleagues and my brothers and sisters here to celebrate the homecoming event. Well, um, we realize as a people, as the Ga and Dangwe people, that we have various resources that we can tap into to help nation building and development. And we also knew that we had a lot of uh, brothers and sisters abroad. We wanted to bring everybody together and the reason this year is very special is because this is the first ever one that has gained traction. We want to bring people together in order not only to celebrate or more. Yes, we have um, two major projects that we've set ourselves. One is a Garangwe Education Fund. And we, we, it is in recognition of the fact that sometimes you have intelligent uh, young people who are educationally minded but they can't afford to go to school their parents are too poor to push the agenda for education so we're setting up the fund in order to support some youths we're looking at up between 10 and 20 youths each year secondly our major flagship program uh, project is to set up and um, erect a gadangwe cultural and resource complex and the resource complex is going to contain a library, uh, a printing press, a media house, a conference centers, meeting rooms, and then we're going to have guest suites and a deba grounds. And we believe that with these things, not only will we be able to um, uh, pro provide employment for the local community where this project is going to be established, but we will also be able to push the agenda for our language and uh, promote our culture, promote, use it as a platform to build media visibility for the Garangwe people. And overall, just have a place for us to congregate when we have our home or when we have our debits and so on and so forth. We have a venue there where we can host events as well. So that's one of the main re projects that we're going to be um, putting up when we finish. On the 18th of this month, we have a women's project uh, which we're setting up at the moment. And we're going to talk about some of these issues. Teenage pregnancy is a major issue. And I think the root cause of that is poverty, as with everything else. So um, what we're doing is creating awareness. We're going to depart from the usual way in which we talk about this. We're going to find practical ways in which to change the mindsets of the young people and make them realize that despite your circumstances, you don't have to put yourself in a position where you propagate this chain of poverty. Because once you fall pregnant young, and you are unable to provide for that child, they are going to grow up in poverty and they are going to continue the cycle. So we want to break that chain and that's one of the major things we set ourselves as well as, as for, for, for young girls and for women. So for Ghanaians, I say that um, we want you to push, help us push the agenda for change. We want everybody to emulate what the Garangwe people are doing within your communities. Bring our brothers and sisters back home, but not just coming home to celebrate our fashe, homo war, uh, you know, our festivals, but bring them back home for a purpose. Um, I also want to, you know, tell Ghanaians that we have a beautiful country. Let's adhere to the COVID protocols. As I'm sitting here for the interview, I am not wearing my mask, but I'll put the mask on to demonstrate that as a people, we have to adhere to the COVID protocols and protect ourselves. Uh, our culture is also beautiful. For me, I am someone who respects my culture. And I think when you go abroad and you adopt, you want to adopt Western culture only, it doesn't help or support us. In the West, they love our culture, they love what we do with our culture, so let's respect it and let's promote it and let's own it because that's what makes us unique. And um, I say to our TV viewers, Midamwasi, 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 Damwasi. And hopefully I'll be in Kumasi to visit everybody. And, you know, you always have me here in Accra.